Now, let's start with the cache in Laravel. Laravel support multiple cache drivers. If we come to inside our .env in here, if we search for cache, let's type cache here. We can see by default it's database. We can change it to file, redis, database also. So I'm going to use file for my application because I don't want to store the cache in my database. I want to store them inside the file. Now let's go to cache demo controller. And in here, if you want to put or add something to the cache, for that we have to type cache colon colon port. And also, don't forget to add the cache class in the top. Now, let's come back to our go code. Cache port, and this will accept three parameters. The first parameter is the key name. For example, foo. Then the second parameter is the value. For example, hello. And the third parameter is the duration that we want to save this key inside our session. For example, I want to save this for 10 minutes. So I will type 600 seconds. So in here, you have to mention the time in seconds. Now, save everything. Let's go to our browser. And in here, if we refresh, this key has been added inside our cache. Now, to get this key, we just have to type, let's create a variable. And in here, we have to type cache, colon, colon, get, then the key key name so foo that's it now let's return this now even if i comment this uh, line this time and save it refresh my browser i get hello because it is stored in my cache i don't have to store it multiple times so if i refresh again it's here but after 10 minutes, if I refresh, this key is gone. You can also retrieve a cache by name. And if it's not found, you can also define a default value for that. For example, let's comment this out. And in here, let's create a value variable and set it to cache. Colon, colon, gay. And this time, we will name it. For example, ABC, and we will set the default value to something not found here. So, if the cache finds ABC, it will display the original value. Otherwise, it will display this value, the default value that we wrote here. So, now if we go the first time, we will get not found here. But if we, we go here, and add this key inside our cache. So let's type cache, colon, colon, put, and ABC, then give it one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, this time we will get this value. So let's go back, refresh. Now we got this. Even if I comment this one, save, let's go. I still get the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 because currently it is available and in inside our cache. We are not displaying, we are not seeing the default value. If you want to delete a key from the cache, we can also do that by just typing cache colon colon for gate and the key name. So in our case, let's forget this one and save now when we return the value we will get the default value in here so let's put it in the before this let's go refresh now we got this because we deleted the abc key from our cache so that's the reason that we are seeing the default value if you want to delete 
all the keys from the cache, all the items which are stored inside our cache, if you want to delete them, we can do that also by typing cache colon colon flash. This will delete all the keys inside our cache and our cache will be empty. So let's save this and let's keep them and comment them. And now let's go refresh. We got not found here. The reason is because before storing the cache inside our value, we have cleared our cache. And if we comment this one and refresh, we got the original key. But if we keep this, delete all the keys from the cache, it will display the default value.